Gradient blends are a popular design element, but often I see the misuse of those gradients. Let me explain. Take the rectangle marquee tool, draw that rectangle, and over in the swatches palette in the flyout menu, we're going to choose new gradient swatch. Select the first stop color, and under the stop color options, go to swatches. Let's go with the default red. And we're going to leave the opposite color as a black to get a nice deep blend in the background. We'll OK that. Let's choose our gradient options and change that rotation to 90 so we can see a little bit more. Let's come back to swatches. Now in this blend you can see that the red blends to the black all right, but in this area it's fading out. Uh, so what's happening is the red is diminishing its tone, and at the same time the black is coming from zero to 100 percent. And in, in that mix uh, it's becoming transparent effectively. So the way to fix this, the first thing we'll do is deselect and let's duplicate this red color. Now double click the red color and it's just as simple as taking the black slider and pulling it all the way to 100%. Now effectively what we have here is a black with all of the percentages in the red. So let's OK that. Let's duplicate this rectangle. And now we'll double click that swatch. Actually, let's duplicate that swatch. So the first rectangle is with the original swatch color. We'll select the second one and color it with the new one. Now let's double click it. Choose that black, and under the menu, from the standard black, we're going to go to the one we built that contains all the elements of the red. So we click on that and OK it. Right away you can see the difference. Let's change our angle so that it's the same as the other one. Now you can see that that red blends into the black and contains all the same properties throughout the entire blend, so it's very rich tones. Now you might be saying, well, I can't print in CMYK. I just want to print in two spot colors, black and a Pantone color. So under swatches, let's deselect. Let's uh, go to the flyout again, new color swatch. Switch to CMYK to a standard of Pantone solid coated. And let's just pick something right at the top here, and we'll go with uh, Rubine Red, and OK that. Now, let's draw a new rectangle. And paint it with the Rubine Red. Now we have to make a new swatch color. Gradient swatch, that is. And what we want to do is change the first stop to our Rubine Red, second stop to Standard Black, and OK it. Now you can already see we're getting the same exact result. Oh, excuse me. So there's a way around this. Select that rectangle again, go back to swatches, and we're just going to color it solid rubine red. Now we're going to copy a lay another rectangle right over the top of it. We do that by holding the Option Command key and hitting U. And we keep our repeat step at one, and our offset for vertical and horizontal is going to be zero. And we OK that, and basically it's just created a new copy right over the top of that rank rectangle. But both copies are selected. So deselect everything by clicking off 
the page and select just your top layer. Now let's change this, grade, this to a new gradient. And this one is going to be white paper to our standard black. OK that. Go to the gradient menu, change our angle to 90. And now it's just as simple as going to our effects tab and choosing normal, making it multiply. Now we get that same rich effect that we got from the CMYK version. This gets a little challenging with complex shapes, but as long as you just select it all and it's a grouped element, uh, you just copy, you just do a step and repeat exactly right over the top of the other one. So let's look at our results. Let's export the PDF. Choose Adobe PDF and save. Let's go with our press quality and just choose view PDF after exporting. Allow this to export and it will launch in Acrobat. And now that it's open, we can go to our advanced tab in Acrobat, print production, output preview. Let's move this out of the way. Now we can hide the Rubine Red and we see that we just have a black blend. If we hide the black, we can see that we have our solid Rubine Red. Uh, so if, and you're also seeing the same thing in our red tone. We get rid of the black and all we've got left is uh, the CMYK build of that red. Well, hopefully this has helped out. Uh, please continue to watch the rest of our videos and hopefully we'll eventually touch base on a topic that you've been looking for input on. Thanks.